All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Walt Frazier. I am here with some of our amazing comedians. I'm here today. Put your hands together for a da. Wave a da so everybody knows who's you. A da wave. There we go. Carolyn, Monty, and <laughs> Justin. We are here. We're going to do some stand up comedy and improv comedy for the world needs some laughs right now. So we're here. This is quarantine life. Hashtag quarantine life comedy. Uh, coming to you from all around New York City. We've got, I'm in Jersey. Most people in Manhattan. Actually, somebody else, I'm not going to tell you where you are because you're kids. I want people looking for you. It would be weird. But uh, we've got we've got the Hamptons represented. we got Jersey. we got Manhattan. We're all over the place. So uh, And we're all here together on Zoom doing the show. We're going to start with a game called Objections. And we're, it plays a little bit differently when we do this as a live show. Hopefully, we'll all get to play this again in Times Square very shortly. And uh, not too soon Mr. You know who, who in the White House, but I but you know soon, sooner than later. Um, and so we're gonna do this game. This is a game called Objections. I needed an argument from the gallery. Uh, what's what's a weird random argument, like a Coke versus Pepsi kind of argument? Yes, Carolyn. Um, how about pillow with pillowcase versus no pillowcase? Pillowcase or no pillowcase. I think that's awesome. This is the objections. I'm the judge. They're the lawyers. You at home are the jury. You get to decide who's the winner in three or four minutes. And without further ado, pillow with or without the case. Go. See, for me personally, I think that, you know, without the pillowcase, it's much comfier because of nothing between you and the softness of the pillow. But without the pillowcase, like, you know, let's say you're, you're taking a drink of water and you spill it. Or, like, you're taking a drink of, I don't know, maybe if you have coffee. I object. Coffee. Why are you drinking water and drinks in bed? That's just going to make a mess. You know what I, I mean? mean? Like, you can't, you shouldn't bring beverages. God forbid, you bring food into the bed. You're going to have crumbs everywhere. We're in New York City. I mean, you're going to have Objection. ice. Yes. I mean, I know, like, it can be kind of gross to have, like, food and drink in the bed. But have you guys, like... I know that there's like this thing called like night water and it's like really good because for some reason your body is like programmed to like water better at night because like sometimes like water like in in the morning it's like like it's it's just water but then at night I'm sorry, objection I object. <laughs> objection oh, go ahead monty go ahead monty uh, water has a specific chemical formula and also human beings are not robots we we can't be like programmed to to like water in the morning and we're like uh 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 beep boop it's nighttime now uh can't like it anymore uh yes justin what is hypnotism then monty mm. see a hypnotist can you know make you think a certain way or you know influence your decision making or ideas and I, I've seen this firsthand. You know, I've been to a hypnotist show. I haven't been hypnotized, but I've seen people. And, you know, I don't know if it's real. I'm almost 99% sure it is. But, I mean, I object. How can you be programmed. You're, you're arguing for something you don't even know if it's real or not. I think you're hypnotized right now. I mean, I think the guy convinced you it was real. And so you're going around telling people it's real. I mean, this is, you know, kind of like with politics today. People just telling people things and they believe them, whether they're true or not. You got, you got to double check things. You know what I mean? You got to, you got to really think things Objection. through. Objection. Yes. Uh, I've never Monty. believed a thing in my life. There's not a thing in my life I've believed. You can't educate me. School has done nothing for me because I don't <laughs> believe in anything. I... I, am I real? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure no. Like, I've been, I, yeah, there's no proof. Yes, Justin. If you don't believe that anything's real, then why do you believe that you can't hear your computer without headphones? Mm. So you do believe something's real because you believe that you can't hear your computer unless you have headphones on. So, right, that's why right now you have headphones on. I object. I find that logic to be highly flawed. I don't know. Headphones and reality are two different things. I'm not sure one proves the other. You know, when you're doing logic, you have to like make something make sense, even if we're being silly and comedic. Uh, yes, Carolyn. It's really hard to sleep with headphones on. Yeah, good I mean, point. like, have you ever, I'm like, I know that may, it might be like a little unrelated, but like, have you guys ever like, like, it's kind of with glasses. It's sort of just like, shifts to one side and then they kind of get like all crooked and stuff and then you can't even really hear the music very well objection objection i'll oh, go ahead justin 
what's worse to sleep in our earbuds because you have the danger of like like getting yourself like choked because it wraps around your neck so headphones are a safer option like the big ones objection yes monty how how thick are your earbuds are you using like rope earbuds like, Apple earbuds. Like, no, Apple earbuds. <laughs> Apple earbuds. You can't strangle yourself with Objection. Apple earbuds. I have an Android phone. I can't use Apple earbuds. I feel like this is like elitism. You can you know totally use mean? Apple earbuds. Yes, you can. Oh, phone. well, I'm an idiot. Go ahead. Take, <laughs> tell me about that, Justin. Um, I'm not calling you an idiot. I call myself that. That's on me. Um, you can, you can't, no, he's, Walt's actually right. You can't use a new Apple. I object. He objected to me and he was wrong. The power. If you're going to object to me and make me sound like an idiot, I got to be, should, I should be at least wrong. You, you just told you me that use, I was right and you objected to me. I'm highly offended. There's only 30 seconds left in this argument. Uh-oh. Justin's going to be weird. <laughs> well, you can use the old Apple headphones that have this audio jack. Uh, 10 seconds. <laughs> Evidence. Carolyn. New phones don't have headphone chats, and that angers me, okay? Objection. Android didn't mess. You should switch over, I think. Objection. Objection. Uh, Monty. Wait, what? And see, Monty's the winner. Yay. <laughs> Just clearing something up. I don't eat in bed. That's gross. I only drink, like, water in bed. Just clearing something up. I do eat in bed because I like the crumbs. I think in the live version of the show, no one could ever win with wait what. But in this version, I think it, it, anything goes, which is great. This is improv at its purest. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to switch gears. We're going to do some stand-up comedy. Put your hands together for the stylings, comedic stylings of Monty. I, I forgot what I was going to talk about, but I do remember a really good joke that I came up with when Walt was talking about quarantine. And I was like, I was thinking, I was like, oh, we're, we're quarantined. Yeah. <laughs> <'Cause> we're <laughs> teenagers and, we're, and we're quarantined. And um, well, what else was I talking about? If you look right here, you can see a picture of me cosplaying as John Lennon. <laughs> <laughs> and if you look here, you can see a cat that is not mine. And, uh, and if you look right here, you can see a... Um, authentic chest hair wig and if you look here you can see a two by two rubik's cube that i didn't solve and looked up a <laughs> tutorial online and uh this is my trophy that i bought i did not win it <laughs> <laughs> this is a, a hat that i made and there, there's more interesting stuff, but it's not in frame. Over here, you can sort of see my hat tower. <laughs> like, half of it's in frame. The top hat is a postman's hat that belonged to a postman before I... before I, <laughs> I, I sort of took it from them. But also, they sort of just left it. So I was like, well, if they're not gonna... If they're not gonna take it. It was a windy day, and they were crossing the street, and it blew off their head. So I... And they just, like, left. So I was like, you know what? It, I'll, I'll take it. And then I left with their hat, and I still have it to this day. Give it up for Monty! Ooh. All right, nice job, nice job, nice job. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to do another improv game. This is a game called Emotional Carpool or Hitchhiking Emotions. Uh, Justin's going to be driving a car. Uh, Monty's in the front seat with him at some point. It will be in a moment. And then at some point, Ada and Carolyn will get in this car as well. And in this game, uh, with our limited way of showing, I think they're just going to be there. But at some point when Monty joins the scene, um, we, they, they will – take over the scene. They're each going to have an emotion. When no, another person joins the scene, their emotion will take over the entire car. So let's go around the room. Uh, what, what's an emotion for Justin? Give, what's a good, fun emotion for Justin? Yes, Ada? Paranoid. Justin is paranoid, which is absolutely perfect for every driver in New York City. I love it. All right, what's Monty? Yes, Carolyn? Enraged. Monty's enraged. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right. What's a da? Yes, Justin. Extremely tired. All right. Extreme exhaustion. A da is exhausted. I love it. And finally, what do we got for Carolyn? Carolyn's All right, Monty, we're going around excited. the circle. What's that? Very excited. Very excited. Hyper, elated, excited. I love it. So, Justin, what are you? I am paranoid. 
Paranoid. Monty. I'm enraged. Enraged. Ada. I am very sleepy. I love it. Carolyn. I'm excited. Awesome. And you'll see all the Where are we driving to? Anybody but Justin. Where is he driving to? Yes, Carolyn. Um, the M&M store. The M&M store, because everybody drives there in Times Square, of course. And how about the, uh, what kind of car is he driving? What's your favorite car, Da? I don't know anything about cars. Yeah, I don't know much either. We're all in New York City. You know what? He's driving an Uber. He's driving an Uber, uh, which is great. Because for some reason, if you play this game, you always get cars with either zero or really bad back seat. So this will be better for the people in the back seat today. Uh, Justin is driving an Uber. He's going to be picking up our passengers. We're going to go. And without further ado, I'm going to duck out of here so you guys can tease us for them. And without further ado, let's see this Uber to the M&M store. Justin's driving. Uh, well, I, well, I can't I, – I really hope this is my passenger. You know, I, I, this is, I, I've read stories about, you know, some guy gets in the car and he just, he just robs you. Oh, um, oh my God. No, 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 no. It's a red light. Oh, no, 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 no. That's a yellow light. Uh, oh, um, sir. Hi. Uh, are, are you my Uber Hands passenger? up. This is a robbery. I'm robbing you. Are you kidding oh, me? Only again. $5? Not I come again. in here to rob you and you only have $5? I, you know, I'm really sorry. I, you know, I just got on shift this morning. I could get more money by robbing kids off the sidewalk. Well, I, I'd advise against that, but, you know, I'm really scared that it's going to happen to my kid now. Oh, my God. You know what? Guess what? I am I'm, robbing I'm, your kid. I'm, I'm so terrified. mad at you. I'm robbing your entire family. But, but okay, we're going to have to move states, I guess. We're going to we're gonna have to move countries. You know, see that guy space, coming space towards our test car? subjects? That's going to be us. See that guy coming towards our car right now? I'm going to rob one of them, them for? too. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I, you know what? I am. Oh my God! I. Okay. Sorry. Adah, jump about, in the car. We're about to run out of gas. We're about to run out of gas. We're on. We're on seventy-five. Oh, I mentioned it. Hi. I'm sort of too tired to rob you, man. Like, seems like too much work. I'm. It's like robbing people's hard. You know, you know I just know. want you know, just give me money. You know, I just like why can't people just be not like, just like I, I don't worry. It's just like I can't things just be all good. You know, I just like I there's so much effort and I just want to sleep. I know. Oh, I I know how you feel. I, I only rob people so I can buy a better bed for myself because I sleep on the rocks. I can't press the unlock door button. My arms are too tired. Can uh, can you? Oh, it's fine. We, I got, we got it. another. We got another rideshare passenger. <laughs> oh. Also tired. How are you today? Oh my God! I'm so happy to have another passenger. Hi. Nice to rob you. What kind of M&Ms are we gonna get? Green are my favorite M&Ms, but you know I like red and, and I like the blue ones too. I hear they have like green ones. Isn't that insane? Insane. Oh but my like, god, like, they, I am so excited. You think they taste like mint, but they don't. They all taste like chocolate. I Unless you get the peanut butter variety, or the peanut variety, or the cookie variety. They all taste the same. Isn't that insane? Isn't it just great how all candy tastes the same? I love that. What? Oh my god, I never realized that. That's so cool. <gasps> oh my oh, god. Looks like we are nearing the M&M store. Um, there's a bit of traffic right now. Does anyone want to walk? I really love walking. You love walking so much, but you know, I'm a cool walk. Oh my god, I'm so excited yeah. to walk. Bye. <sighs> Jeez, she drained all of my energy. She was just so excited. I just want to take uh, a Oh, I'm still driving. Okay. I just want to go to sleep in my home in the rocks. Oh. You know, we're going to be here for a while. I suggest, you know, you can get out and take a nap if you'd like. Oh, it's, it's fine. Oh. 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 Those people, they, they interrupted my nap. robbery. I almost forgot that I was robbing you. Give me your money. I am so tired of the city. Everyone's just trying to rob me. You know, I, I, just, I just can't believe it anymore. It's just ridiculous. Get out of my car. Get out. All right, but I'm taking your $5. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, oh my God. Do you think they're going to have, do you think they're going to come back? I, I honestly have no idea. I'm so scared that they're going to rob me again. Taxi! Yeah! Uber drive. When I kick you out, I need to invite you back in. Uh, <laughs> I always forget about that. I right, gotta get you back in there. Oh wait, no, that's that's not right. Yeah, you gotta uh, you gotta hit start video. There we go. Or something. There we are. There we go. All right, live edit. It's just like Flawless. the Super Bowl. Very good. Oh, we have a whole new order now. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to keep the party going, and we're going to bring Justin to the stage. Justin, ready for some stand-up comedy. Put your hands together. Yay! So, the past few days, I think, as I'm sure everyone has, and I forgot about this idea until Monty started talking about his trophy. So, I was thinking, you know, how do you get the job to, like, be the person who they model like the top of the trophy after you know like the, the one doing like the pose with the tennis you know the golf the baseball you know it, it seems like a really great job you know you're just gonna go down in history as the guy on the top of the trophies you know and you'll be like the symbol of winning because every time someone wins your face and your you'll, you'll just be right there you know what's better than that i mean you're gonna be a trophy you're gonna win <laughs> that was my trophy thank you I got a trophy because that's a funny stand up. Yeah, that was, that was funny. <laughs> We're going to keep the hilarity going, ladies and gentlemen. Come to this stage. Uh, the one, the only, Ada is going to do her stand up comedy. Woo! Is your life been different because of coronavirus? Because mine has. And as much as I love staying home, all this FaceTime is kind of annoying. <laughs> Everything is FaceTime. School, play dates, piano class, even dental appointments. <laughs> so what's my problem with FaceTime? For one, there is so much background noise. I swear I heard someone brushing their teeth. <laughs> what's that flushing the toilet? And the things you see that you can't unsee. <laughs> Did you know that everybody has a ginormous pile of laundry on their bed? Not just my mom. <laughs> but I was still dealing with all this FaceTime stuff fine. Until something happened. Something scary. Today, my mom announced that I will be having a FaceTime birthday party. <laughs> what is a FaceTime birthday party? Does everyone just watch me eat cake? <laughs> Am I going to get any presents? <gasps> Imagine celebrating birthday in front of a computer. <laughs> I am doomed! Ooh, give it up for a dog! Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Uh, we're going to play a game called Foursquare now. Uh, we have four contestants. I'm going to duck out for this one again. We're going to get some things here. This game, it, we've never tried this game. I've never done this game at all in a Zoom meeting, so this is an experiment. Um, we're gonna, we have four sets of teams and this so this game we're going to rotate four different scenes uh we're going to start with justin and monty doing a scene um ada and carolyn give me a place you never want to go on vacation yes carolyn um bermuda triangle all right justin and monty are somehow doing a scene in or about the bermuda triangle and uh, we can't rotate per se but the next scene will be justin and a da when i say rotate they'll move to justin and a da and they are going to do a scene about, uh, what's a famous, uh, let's see, uh, maybe like your favorite song in the last year. What's the title of Monty or Carolyn? What's the name of the favorite song in the last year or two? 666. Really? <laughs> yeah. It's so good. I, I can't recommend it to anyone, though, because it's also really bad. Yeah, it sounds interesting for kids. Don't, don't I, I wouldn't recommend it, but I love it. Yeah, I, I might not take it then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to stay away from demonic possession and 
things like that. What, what, what do you got, Carolyn? Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's my favorite song, but um, Gummy Bear. <laughs> gummy Bears. That one? No, it's like, I'm a gummy bear. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forgot about that one. I was thinking like the old TV show theme song. Hey, we're not, not, not everywhere. All right, uh, Justin and Ada, you're doing a scene about gummy bears in some form. Either you are gummy bears or eating gummy bears, something about gummy bears. All right, we're going to rotate. It'll be Ada and Carolyn. And Monty and Justin, give me uh, a favorite food. Pizza. Gummy bears. Uh, so, you know what? Gummy bears are food. Uh, give me uh, um, a weekend activity. Eating pizza. <laughs> well. <laughs> What's that, Justin? Glitching out on your webcam. Oh, no. While playing badminton. What happened? Oh, no. Badminton? Playing, oh, playing badminton. You know, you know, you know how about eating pizza? Something about you're, go, you're at the pizza parlor. Something about the pizza parlor. <laughs> you're at the pizza shop. And you're then tossing final, pizza. Yeah, well, there's something about we're going to stay with the pizza. We're sticking with pizza. We'll rotate again. We'll have Carolyn and Monty doing a scene. And they just came back from some event. Where did they, what did they just come back from? Getting a library card. They just came back from getting a new library card. What could be more exciting for comedy than that? It's awesome. So Monty and Justin, who are you? What are you doing? Bermuda Triangle. Yep, Bermuda Triangle. Awesome. Justin and Ada. Gummy bears. Gummy bears. Awesome. Ada and Carolyn. Uh, at the pizza parlor. Yeah. Awesome. Carolyn and Monty. Uh, getting a library card. After yeah, library card. Getting a library card. Awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, Justin and Monty, get us going. So you're saying that Bermuda Triangle is not a good vacation spot? I mean, the flights there are so cheap. I mean, how, how can you not think it's a good place to go? I mean, yeah, you, you know, just like with the whole, the whole disappearing ships thing, it, I'd say, like, it, you sound you, you sound just like all the haters. You know, they're always hating on Bermuda Triangle just because a few hundred ships and a few 70 planes might have disappeared. You know, it's you always know, about, you know, it's what? Always about Actually, who didn't come back rather than who did come back. <laughs> Actually, Rotate. yeah. How bad could it be? Rotate. Can you believe it? Johnny got eaten the, the other day. You know, I always heard that they only went for the good tasting gummy bears, but. You know, he's gone. It's, and Eleanor the yeah. gummy bear is about to be eaten. No! Know. Are you serious? No, 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 no. We, we gotta get out of here. We, we, we can't be next. Uh huh, but I think we should bring some people so that we could go and, and many gummy bears could be safe. Rotate. Oh, we're at the pizza parlor. Huh. <laughs> pizza looks very interesting. Pizza, would you like to order, ma'am? Uh, I would like to order interesting pizza. Okay, so on our interesting pizza <laughs> menu, there you go. Um, on our interesting pizza menu, we have um, snail pepperoni. That's pepperoni made out of snail slime. Um, we have broccoli, which is just broccoli. Um, and then we have Cheetos because they're on a burger. So let's put them on pizza. So which will you be ordering today? Um, let's try the Cheetos. Rotate. Ah, welcome to the library. I see you want a library card. Um, yeah, my other one didn't work for some reason. I think it's because I tried to put it in the CD player. Well, here's a library card. We can get you two library cards for the price of one. Oh, wow. That sounds great. Um, actually, yeah, because I do have a clone, so that would work. Ah, very nice. Rotate. Now, just going... Great going, Paul. What did I tell you about the Bermuda Triangle? What did I tell you? See what happened? Look at, I know look at this mess we're in. I know our plane crashed. I know we're stranded, but on the bright side, we got our private island. I, I mean, mean, yeah, 
You, you did get us a private <laughs> island. I will give you that. You got to look at it as the coconut half full. We got a private island, you know, no noisy neighbors. And we have a ton of fun plane scrap metal to build with. That Rotate. is true. Okay, so I got a message out. We're all going to leave tonight at 6 o'clock. We're going to break out of the bag. We got to <laughs> cut it open, and we're all going to waddle out, okay? I think I found some mini scissors. Okay, good. Um, I'm not good with them. Could, could you cut it open? Because, you know, every yeah. time I try to do that, I get stuck inside the scissors. I'm going to, I'm going to cut, I, I'll cut open a small hole right now. And then later we can open the hole more. It's open. Rotate. They're coming. Ma'am, you didn't tell me you were allergic to Cheetos. <laughs> I'm not allergic. Oh, wait, I am allergic. Wait. <laughs> oh, yeah, I am. Uh, why is my hand so big? <laughs> oh, no. Um, <laughs> you have, like, something to go against the allergy? I think I do. Yep, I do. Use Rotate. it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I used it. Rotate. Rotate. There, thank you for applying for your library card. It should be delivered within 48 weeks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry, I just had my headphones in. <laughs> All right, thank you for applying for your library card. It should be delivered within 48 weeks. 48 weeks? That's way too long. I want a book now. Well, you're just going to have to wait. You know what they say. Good things come to people who are patient. <laughs> well, if you don't give me one sooner, I'll just buy my books on Amazon. Rotate. Ah, Paul, okay, check out my right. scrap metal castle. Oh my this god. This vacation is going way better than I expected. Did you get your tetanus shot before we left? Tetanus shot? More like, I don't need a tetanus shot. <laughs> No! Randy! Rotate. No! Okay. We gotta go now. The humans are coming. I, I, can, I can see the hand coming into the bag. We, we gotta okay. move now. We have to get out. Three! Run! No! We, 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 got, we, we, we gotta leave him. He's a goner. He's all the way in the corner, and he can't make it. We gotta go without him. Wait, he's there! I've got it! Now we're there! No, okay, we good. Out. Okay, we all made it. Okay. Rotate. Uh, uh, I think I'm better. Yep, I'm better. <laughs> oh no, my hands are way too tiny. Oh no. I think you might have used too much of the allergy stuff. Then I need half of a Cheeto. Okay. <laughs> Um, I don't have any scissors, so I guess I'll just, there you go. Thanks. Rotate. Here. Rotate. So, I, so I also don't have an Amazon card, so. Well, good news, we sell those here too. <laughs> oh, really? How soon can you get one to me? Uh, like one or two years. Two, what? How are you still in business? Taxi! Yo! Yo. <laughs> Yo. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, musical interlude. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to bring this show. Oh, no, I'm sorry. What am I doing? I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, we do have one more game after this. We're going to let this young lady do some stand-up comedy. We have one more game after this. Put your hands together for Carolyn! Yay! Okay. So I've come up with, so you know how like sometimes food will betray you? So I feel like I could like sort of make a movie out of that. And I've already come up with a title. It's gonna be called When Food Attacks, okay? And it's sort of gonna be like a sci-fi horror sort of thing. So let me just give you like a sneak peek. So basically, um, so basically, I had this crazy experience the other day, 
And I basically kind of drank detergent slash cleaner out of a water bottle. Ooh. Now, I didn't mean to. Like, I wasn't trying to become a sponge. But <laughs> I, it sure, it's sort of like, so I, I got water. And then, like, and so I, I poured in the thing. And I didn't realize that there was still soap inside of the bottle. So when I went to take a nice refreshing sip of water, I took four huge gulps before I realized there's definitely something wrong. Now, at first I thought that my mom had replaced it with wine or something. I don't know why that's what went to my head first, but it did. So apparently I think wine tastes like detergent. So, yeah. And I feel like that would sort of be like the trailer where it's like one girl, four sips, water or not. Or it would be like some sort of like truth or dare sort of thing. And what about like water bottle like roulette? Like you have like two water bottles or like four or how many and you like choose which one. And then whichever one has soap is the one that loses. And then I was also thinking of other foods that betray you. And I realized that, like, like sometimes when you're going to, like, eat a chip or a nacho or a Dorito, you'll bite it in a way where it just sort of stabs you in the gums. Like, it'll sort of, like, get, like, in between your teeth. And then you, like, bite down and it'll just go, like, like sort of, like, through your lip. I mean, at least you have, like, a nice, like, lip piercing. I mean, that's fun. <laughs> and sometimes milk... Uh, I love milk, but sometimes it can be, it can be kind of a brat because it'll like, it'll like smell nice. It'll have that good milky scent, but then I'll pour it and I'll drink it. And I feel like the, the milk and the water in cahoots because I find out it's spoiled after I've taken a sip. I also, you know, when like you're eating a Jolly Rancher and like, it sort of just like goes down your throat right after you eat it because you've like done something with your mouth, like talking or laughing or pretty much anything. And then like once you've like, right when you've unwrapped it, it just like goes down your throat. And like now you've wasted such a good piece of candy and that's so unfair. But if you don't <laughs> swallow it within two minutes and like you suck on it and it gets like really sharp, okay? Like it could be used as like a weapon or something. Like like someone's come coming up to you on the street and you're like eating candy and they're like, give me all your money. And then you're, and you're just like, take out the candy and they're like, oh, she's got a Jolly Rancher. And then they run away. Yeah, that that's probably gonna be a part of the movie too. So I, love Cheetos, but my mom doesn't always let me have them. So when she does, I try to savor every little bit that I can. But sometimes it can be a little awkward with the remaining dust on your fingers because you always like, you know, you lick it off, obviously. But then what do you do with your spitty fingers? You sort of have to like maneuver your clothes so you can like wipe it off or something. But it, that can be awkward, and everyone's just like, oh my god, Carolyn is such a slob. She's wiping her hands on her shirt. So you have to be, like, discreet about it. So what I've decided to do, well, actually, let me just show you. So let's say, like, you're on a bus. You have to, like, do one of these, like, fake stretching. You have to just, like... <laughs> Just like get all over your pants and just like maybe a few of these just to let people know that you're really stretching. <laughs> <sighs> Ooh, that was actually a really good stretch. <laughs> so, moral of the story, don't eat food. Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, give it up for Carolyn. All right, all right, all right. All right, we're gonna do one more game, then we'll get out of here. Uh, for those who don't know, we actually have somebody in the audience today who's uh, in the background. Uh, Nikki decided to join us. He can't join us for the show, but he's there in spirit. 
I went to go send a comment to everybody, and I realized there was somebody I didn't recognize right away. So uh, that's right. We're going to have fun. We're going to play the show with a game called World's Worst. I need some jobs, some occupations. You all have some jobs, some occupations. Maybe you want to be when you grow up or never want to be when you grow up. Carolyn? Uh, Stand-up comedian. Stand-up comedian. I love it. What else? Hairdresser. Hairdresser. Thank you, people from the front row. Uh, what else? Uh, uh, any other? Yes, Ada. Uh, marine biologist. Marine biologist, delivery man from the audience, and uh, <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm 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 combining those two. Marine biologist, I love it. Oh, oh yes, Justin. Um, pizza maker. Pizza maker. How about a uh, weekend activity? I'm just gonna get him out of the way right now, so we go quicker later. Weekend activity. Yes, Carolyn. Staying home. Staying home. It's the new fad. And uh, how about uh, an event, a reason to celebrate? Going birthday. out. What's that? Birthday. Birthday. I love it. What else? Doing laundry. All right. That's a holiday in Nikki's Buying house. groceries. I think he's behind one. Groceries? Buying groceries? I love it. I think, you know what? I got enough things here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the world's worst game. We're going to present the world's worst person to do some of these things. And uh, when, when I go, bzzz, that means I know exactly what they're doing. Celebrating with laundry. I understand. That, that's, that's like a doll's FaceTime birthdays. There's going to be a lot of laundry in those pictures. So uh, let's start with the world's worst. Um, world's worst marine biologist. World's worst marine biologist. And we got one, oh, just jump right in there, unless oh, there's like four or five people talking. Go ahead. I, I can't believe that that was endangered. I'm, you know, I just thought it would make a really good sushi roll. Bzzz. Yes, Carolyn. Oh my God, Walt, is that a real shark behind you? <laughs> <laughs> Baby shark. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I'm going to empty this as a shark. There we go. Okay. <laughs> World's worst marine biologist. My, 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 my head is dented. It looks like somebody punched me. <laughs> we've, we've improved the show. That's right. <laughs> this is what the show's been lacking for the last 50 minutes. How long have we been on the show? All right, let's Every start. World's time worst time marine biologist. Club. Why isn't the host a shark? <laughs> Oh, welcome to Shark Tank, everybody. Call me Mr. Wonderful. <laughs> now, now it looks like a really inappropriate cult hat. And uh, I'm not sure what's going on here. Hello, everybody. Just, uh, welcome just turn around. Mind. It's the Moose Lodge. All right, world's worst oh marine biologist. All right. All Sharks? right, we'll, we'll switch it up. World's worst, uh, world's worst delivery man, going to our audience suggestion. Uh, yes, it uh This place looks strangely empty. Hmm, maybe they just live somewhere that's empty. <laughs> Three days later. <laughs> wow, I didn't know it would take this long to get there. <laughs> Bzzz, love it. World oh my worst God. Man. Go ahead, Monty. Deliver? I barely know her. <laughs> ah, wah, wah, wah. World worst delivery man. Go ahead, Carolyn. Hi, I work for UPS. I'm sorry, I can't pick up the box. I've got little arms. <laughs> I got way too many props here. Go ahead, Justin. <laughs> this is my address. I ordered this. Oh my God. <laughs> Makes so much sense now. Bzz. How about world's worst, uh, world's worst thing to hear us here do while doing laundry, yours or somebody else's? World's worst thing to do while doing laundry. Yes, Ada. I am eating, I am eating cake. <laughs> laundry, which is why laundry is so good to do, because you get to eat cake while doing it. Bzz. Don't, do, don't do the Todd, Todd Pod challenge, kids. Uh, Carolyn. <laughs> um, 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 <laughs> you're not raising your hand no i was but 
Uh, I forgot what I was gonna say. Uh oh, this and is short term memory. Do my laundry. <laughs> <laughs> World's worth, Justin. That's not my shirt. <laughs> I can improve that. All right, Carolyn. Wait, this is hair bleach. That I'm putting on my clothes. Wait, I thought this was regular bleach. Go ahead, Monty. Wait, this isn't my shirt. Uh, I like to apologize in advance to everybody here at the laundromat, but I had nothing clean to wear, so everything's in the machine. I'll I'll put clothes on in about fifty minutes. Justin, wait, that's not my shirt. I wonder how it tastes. Uh, I'm gonna switch it up. World worst thing, uh, you know, to do. Here's your do. Now that you were staying home, it's a, it's a, it's all the craze these days. Staying home, all the kids are doing it. And uh, what, what's the world worst thing you can hear us do while staying home? Go ahead, Carolyn. Well, this is something my mom likes to do. So she'll basically make herself paranoid by searching up what's happening with the coronavirus. <laughs> not already stressed enough about it. World worst thing to hear us do while staying home. Yes, Justin. I'm, I'm 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 out of toilet paper. Uh, uh, <laughs> bzz, bzz, bzz. I recommend the shower bidet, but go ahead, Monty. Uh, it appears that we are in the middle of a global pandemic. Uh, what do we do here? I think big Smurf rally. <laughs> a, that was a thing. The one uh, a French mayor held a Smurf rally recently. <laughs> oh wow, really? Oh my goodness, that's so awesome. I think I saw that. Yeah, it, it would be like awesome if there wasn't a global pandemic going on. Because everyone's turning blue because of the respiratory illness. So uh, Oh yeah. Uh, that's Never terrible. Thought about it. We're all to our thing to hear you do while staying home. I'm, I'm gonna try this. I saw this on YouTube. I'm gonna look yell out my window, see if anybody sings back out from my balcony. Mana mana. Mana mana. Fine, just do it once, why don't you? <laughs> World's worst thing to hear you do while staying home. Yes, it uh. I'm gonna make a mummy costume now. What should I make it out of? Ooh, toilet paper. No! <laughs> uh, that's a world's worst stand-up comedian. World's worst, go ahead, Carolyn. So, um, I, I was walking down the street one day <laughs> Justin. Oh, I thought you were uh, raising your hand. Oh, I am. Oh, okay. Bzz. Was that your thing? Yeah. Oh, that's what I thought. I was making sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Ada. And so, evidently, this pandemic has come from blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Bzz. Go ahead, Monty. Uh, Your Honor, what do you mean I can't do my routine in court? <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm sorry. This is a quarantine life comedy. I'm just gonna sit. All right. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna stay in my chair because if, if, if I stand up, it's like, hi, everybody. What's the deal with airline food? Yeah, you, you don't want to see all that. You don't want to see all that. Oh, go ahead, Justin. What do you call cheese that's not yours? Nacho cheese. Bzz. Come on, laugh track guy. Where are you? We're all worst thing to hear you do in the new normal of buying groceries. Or any buying groceries. Yes. Carolyn. I'm going to go to a supermarket. <laughs> Bzz. Justin. There are bugs on that food. I'm not buying that. Bzz. Like a bug, buzz like a fly. Oh, okay. I was doing more flies. Uh, yes, Carolyn. Um, I would go to a supermarket, but it's kind of out of my budget, so I'm gonna go to a not so supermarket. <laughs> yes, Justin. Don't buy that food over there. Someone just coughed on it. You know, you didn't hear it from me, but someone just coughed on that. Bzz. 
Go ahead, Ada. Oh, wait, I forgot. Bzzz. Oh, my goodness. These people have a ring. Oh, no. They can see me stealing all their groceries off the doorstep. Oh, they got a TV, too? No, nope, I'm just taking the toilet paper and groceries. Don't forget the Purell. That's right. Oh, that ain't, that you can't get Purell, even from neighbors. And uh, Unless you have a, a, a beer maker that you know that can make it for you. And uh, let, let's bring it home potentially with the world's worst hairdresser. World's worst hairdresser. Carolyn. So I don't have my scissors today, so we're just going to use wax strips. Ah! Let's see Justin's hand there. Go ahead. What do you think? What do you think for your hair? You know, like a nice pair of jeans, a collared shirt, some shoes. You know, I'm just trying to dress your hair up. You know, I think that you're an amazing head of hair, and I think you're going to go really far. And all of you heads, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm being a hair a dresser. And, uh, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, that I took that took that too far. World worst hair dresser. Yes, Justin. You don't like it? I took all your hair and I put it all over myself. Now I'm dressed in it. Isn't that <laughs> what a hairdresser does? Ooh, but good. You put the wax on backwards. You can just stick it to. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it up, Taxi! Yo. Taxi! Yo. Put your hands together one more time for Da! <laughs> Justin! Oh, Carolyn, Ooh. Monty, Ooh. and uh, the Ooh. comics don't actually see what I'm seeing, so they might not realize I'm pointing to them when I do that. But uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to see you guys next time. I want to thank you all for tuning in. Hope you guys had a good time. If you had fun, we have comedy classes online. We have shows going up almost mm. every day between the kids and the cast members of Eight is Never Enough. We're just having a good time. Justin, raise his hand. You had something to add to that? Oh, no, I, I, didn't, I didn't mean to press that button. Just playing with toys on Zoom. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you guys next time. Taxi! Yo! Yo!